currently at baggage claim right now. Christian is like going through security for entering and it just kind of hit me that he's here. Although I won't believe it until I see it because it's all just so surreal. He's never been here before. Ah! Hi! Hello! You're here! What the heck? Ah! <laughs> Hey everyone, it's Alyssa and welcome back to my channel. I just wanted to say a quick thank you to those who have been watching my videos in 2021. You guys are the best and I'm so excited to make more videos for you in 2022. At the end of 2021, my long distance boyfriend finally got to visit me after two years of there being a travel restriction that banned Europeans from entering the US. On top of that, it was actually his first time in Seattle ever, so it was pretty surreal that he was here. If there's one thing that I've learned in 2021 is that we definitely take our surroundings for granted. While I did get the privilege of being able to visit my significant other this past summer, the pandemic still keeps reminding me to appreciate where I am in the present moment, even as life starts to feel a little more normal again. Seattle has been my main home base for about 15 years now, so I was really excited to show Christian around and to see the city through fresh eyes. Christian is here. He is in Seattle for the first time ever because borders were closed to Europeans until this month. This is the first time that he's ever been able to visit me in my current hometown. And right now we are on our way to Capitol Hill where we're gonna be spending the next couple of hours in a coffee shop. It's really sunny today. Christian did get a taste of the Seattle rain. How are you liking Seattle so far? That is such a fake smile. <laughs> wow. I think it's the first time that you've been able to see the skyline. What if it was on a boat house? You take places for granted that you live in. On our third full day in Seattle, we decided to have a nice chill cafe day in the hip neighborhood of Capitol Hill. We stumbled upon this new bagel place called Rubenstein Bagels and it was delicious. Ada's Technical Books and Cafe is somewhere that I've been meaning to go for a long time. It's essentially a science-minded bookstore and vegetarian cafe hybrid all wrapped up in a light, airy, and a cozy building. I was really starting to feel festive with my peppermint hot chocolate. That, we changed up the atmosphere by working in Victrola Coffee down the road. After a couple hours, I took Christian on his first Seattle thrifting exhibition at the one and only. I just keep looking until I... And then we came home to surprise my younger brother for his 20th birthday. I still can't believe how fast time flies sometimes. I still see him as like an 8 year old though. because we didn't actually Stop traffic to stop tolerate harassment. Please report any harassment to security or transit employees. 
because we didn't actually get to explore the Pike's Place Market last time. I think we're gonna go back to the same Storyville Cafe because we loved it so much. Also decked out in winter gear. Winter is coming. Pike Place Market is a must-go for first-time Seattle visitors. I didn't get to show Christian all of the tourist spots on day one, so I had to take him to the gum wall located in Post Alley, also known as Ghost Alley, for its sightings of ghosts. They clean the walls every year, so this is just one year's worth of gum. Christian found it to be absolutely disgusting. We watched the fish throwing at the Pike Place Fish Market. Listen to the Pike Place buskers. And then it was time to head back to Story Villa Cafe for the second time. Is that still getting used to the blue bag? Is it bigger? This cafe is definitely on the pricier side, but they do hand out delicious cake on the house and you get a really nice view of the market beneath you. the Seattle Ferry Terminal. We're gonna catch a mini taxi, but we're running late. Really excited to take the water taxi for the first time. Oh, such a pretty sunset. In all of my 15 years of living in the greater Seattle area, I have never known about the water taxi that takes you from Pike's Place to Alki and back. It's only $5 and we were in for a special treat. The skyline views at sunset here are amazing. Bleeding out and I woke with you and sat on my mouth and questions of the why and how again. disaster. I just really wanted to quickly talk about hockey last night. So because this is only Christian's like second time in the US like ever, he really wanted to go to an American sports game. But we didn't know that we couldn't bring our big backpacks to the arena. So we had to like walk around Seattle and find a place to drop them off. And we stumbled upon the Seattle's Children's Theater where we dropped it off for a little bit until they had to close. We had to like leave the hockey arena and then we finally found some lockers by the Space Needle and then ran back to watch the hockey game. But yeah, overall it was so fun. I didn't even know that Seattle had a hockey team. And now we're gonna go find a cafe to sit in. What did you think about the hockey game last night? It was awesome. Was it everything that you thought it was gonna be? Yeah. It was very American. Wow. Yeah, the song is about going to go. Is there a cafe? Oh, this is cute.
went out last night. We didn't go out hard, but that was the first time that I've been out in Capitol Hill or anywhere in Seattle really since my 21st birthday, which was over two years ago, which is crazy if I think about it. But we had so much fun. Christian got to meet some of my friends. And now it is the weekend already. It's sunny. Hey, Christian. You want to come to your shop naked? Uh, he's showering over here. And now we're going to go ahead to the Soto Flea Market, which happens only once a month on the second Saturday of every month. And I'm really excited. I'm excited to look through some thrifted clothes, some vintage clothes, and just have a nice flea market Saturday. Are they pants? Just get out of the Soto flea market, really cute. Christian and I didn't get anything, but I did end up walking away with a bag of homemade dog treats for our dog Bruno. So yeah, we didn't get anything, but we got something for Bruno, so everything worked out. And now we're on our way to meet up with my friend Ashley, close to the university. I'm gonna get some like flashbacks of college before COVID. But it's gonna be a full circle moment because Ashley was actually the first friend that met Christian when she was going to school in London. So it's gonna be nice to see her again. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're